Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers, and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close? I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. It's what you hired me to do. Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Nothing I can't handle. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole, just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double-checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry. This bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well... Too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So, before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Chuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. Your men that crashed on Tachanka, how many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. 
I needed someone I could trust completely. That's all. Of course, Commander. Crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, ma'am. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, ma'am, but the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Edie? Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper Harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying! This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I fear. A secret Turian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? You're the Turian. You tell us. I got nothing, Lieutenant. Shh. See him? Quick. We don't want them to call for backup. just in time for a harvester to take him out. Died in the explosion? Or dragged out and chewed on by husks. <laughs> yeah, eyes up. Okay, I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. <clears throat> Incoming harvester! 
Sarai. There's another pod ahead. Yeah, not one left behind. Keep moving. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. Being the son of Adrian Victus is a lot to live up to. It's a big military name on Palavan. War's expected to run in the Victus' blood. Doesn't always work that way. You gotta make your own name. I think we saved all those men. Over here! Over here! Do you read, Commander? Repeat, do you read? Shepard here, what's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight, we're on our way. Shepard here. Just saw officers from a lot of enemies in your path. Understood. There's the harvester. Got it on the run. Okay. Let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. Here's where politics pisses me off. Wouldn't the Krogan want to blow these Reapers the hell off their own planet? Krogan Turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things. <clears throat> All right, let's move! Right behind you! Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. 
Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts, but you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it, and so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men! I own what happened here today, but we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turi, and we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? It doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. 
It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Normandy shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago. After the Krogan Rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. the Krogan and then plant a bomb on their planet. Pretty extreme, but those were desperate times. They did what they had to. Maybe the Turians have more in common with us than I thought. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Cerberus is putting up a fight, but the Ninth Legion is advancing, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant.
Copy that. I'm getting a lot of servers I don't like the sound of that. some damage. How the hell they hide that? It must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. I hope Victus knows what he's doing. We won't get a second chance. We gotta move, Shepard. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. We're closing on the Hornet's nest. They'll be swarming out any minute now. Agreed, Lieutenant. set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Damn it! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Nobody gets past us. Clear? Understood. We've got company. mechanism. It's set to the... Disarm it! No time! I have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now! Cover me!
victory. At any cost. Chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining server's troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and more is expected. He did us proud, but... We're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just... expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb? They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Check it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey. We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachunka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard! It's over. His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. I understand your reservations before, Commander, but I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. My son... He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. I'll assume you didn't know about this. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. Honest. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rick's out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless, unless given to entire species. 
You're usually full of ideas, Morden. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course, always possibilities. But time limited. Can't create new infection strain from scratch. Groundwater? No, too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Those were desperate times. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector. Then use Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little piejack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Thank you.